I went to Boston University mm -hmm. and I studied broadcast journalism. And I had many internships along the way. I interned at, I had an internship at KMOV in St. Louis, which was then KMOX TV, which was the CBS affiliate in St. Louis. When I was a senior in high school, weirdly, mm -hmm. I was the youngest intern. Um, I was the youngest intern there. And it was a summer internship. And that internship was very kind of defining for me. I loved being in the newsroom. I loved the atmosphere. Uh, it was so, it was very exciting to me. Uh, and and I, it made me think, yeah, this is where I want to be. And then when I was in college, I interned at a classic rock radio station. I interned, ship, I interned at the CBS radio uh, station in St. Louis, Camo X Radio. I had a lot of radio jobs, weirdly. I was at UPI Radio in London mm -hmm. because I couldn't get, for some reason I was being turned down to the TV news internships. My last internship was at CBS News in New York at the morning show at CBS This Morning. I really wanted to be at the evening news, but they assigned me to the morning show, which I at the time thought was really losery. It was with Harry Smith and Paula Zahn. It was the number three morning show, which CBS still is forever. Um, and But once I got there, I realized, wow, this is actually a great place for me. I loved it. I was assigned to the consumer unit, which was really weird to me. Uh, a correspondent named Aaron Moriarty, mm -hmm. who is still at CBS News on 48 Hours. And she recently profiled me on CBS Sunday Morning. Mm -hmm. And the producer for that was one of my first mentors, a guy named Jay Kernis, who's a producer at CBS Sunday Morning. He was a senior producer at at CBS This Morning when I was there. On one of my last days, I said to him, oh, my plan is I'm going to move to small markets and I'm going to be a reporter. And he said, well, you have a wandering eye. And I said, wow, I do? I had no idea. And uh, I... I called my mom and she said, you don't have a wandering eye, that's ridiculous. But I do have a little of a wandering eye, which I found out about immediately the first day I went on the camera at Bravo. Everyone, of course, let me know online, you have a wandering eye because everyone, you know, has to be an asshole on social media uh, and point out your flaws. But he told me that and it wasn't like him telling me that made me stop wanting to be on camera. I think what made me give up my dream to go to small markets was I got a taste of CBS News in New York and I said, well, you know what? I think I'll just move here and I'll just move to here. I'll just move here and I'll be a producer. This is so fun. I want to swim with the big fish. Mm -hmm. Big fish. <laughs>